Hi, I'm Stephen at Marshall Radio in Europe. Um, one of the things I just wanted to cover quickly today was the difference between the 173 receiver and the 434 receiver. It's something that we get asked a lot about and so something that I just wanted to go through people with video to hopefully make it a little bit easy for you to select the correct receiver for you. Okay, first of all if we look at the 173 receiver, the 173 100 channel um, it actually gives you 99 variations. The big change with the new receiver is that you actually key in the frequency rather than an actual arbitrary channel number. So if you want 173.235, that's exactly what we key in here. And we will get the exact frequency. So transmitters when they're programmed might not be 173.235, they could be 173.236, just a very small variation. So on the old channel that would have been uh, channel 4 on the 173. So you do fine pitch. On the new receiver you type in the exact frequency and you get a much bigger um, leniency when you're fine pitching you hit the biggest uh, pulse so you've really got the cleanest signal uh, which equates to more range in the actual field. Okay, if we look at the 434 this is the one that really um, has got a lot of buzz around it at the moment. A lot of people are asking us about the new 434 and 433 systems. Uh, the biggest reason has got to be the size of the actual Yagi. Uh, this is the Yagi fully extended and as you can see that's very small. Small enough in fact to be able to open within the car. I put Velcro on the bottom of mine last year and uh, stick that onto the dashboard and I could use the actual receiver whilst travelling in the car. If we look at the 173 opened up, it's quite a bit different. The dynamics of 173 is, there's such at the moment that a 173 Yagi needs to be this size to actually get you the full range and the directionality. The frequency of 434 is different and so it can be a lot smaller but still give you great directionality and good range. So that's really the key points about these two different receivers. If I just quickly put the handle on to this receiver, you see it as a complete unit. The actual Yagi on the top also is removable. Uh, you can put an extended cable on there to put a mount on the car. Uh, I've seen various different setups and we are looking at making a mount for this so that you could actually have the Yagi on top of the vehicle itself which would be directional. So um, that's really about it um, as far as the two are concerned. The things that you've got to make your mind up about is with the frequency. If you've got 173 transmitters, um, obviously you're going to need a whole new uh, kit of transmitters and if you've got friends on 173 you won't be able to pick them up on the 434 system. However if you're starting from fresh then the 434 is certainly a great system to consider. Thanks, hope it's been of use.